Hello everyone, Ray Welder here, the Bishop of Technology. Last issue, uh, check our website. Last time we, now notice it says press the power button for boot options, the boot menu, press the power button, and uh, it highlights recovery, that's where we want. Uh, last time we uh, installed the uh, root to this device, now it's, <laughs> it was pure virgin stock, and uh, we uh, just rooted it, and installed the Go Launcher, but today we're going to do something a little bit different. Now, this is the recovery, uh, Team Win Recovery project that uh, we installed when we rooted it. Okay, it all came up automatically. Okay, there you go. There's a little bit better screen. Okay, so uh, now what we want to do is go down here to uh, to the USB port, plug up the USB port. And Windows might recognize it, but it won't show a, a screen for it yet. Okay, what we have to do is go to Mount and Mount USB Storage. Okay, so we mount the USB Storage, and when we do, then it should recognize it on Windows. Okay, so uh, we'll open up another window here. the computer and there's the Kindle D drive we open that and uh, so now you can see that in this drive I'll move in a little closer here you can read it a little better the one on the bottom is the Kindle the one on the top is the computer and so what we're going to do I'll go ahead and get started we're going to uh, copy this glazed uh, ICS now, let's see it may want to copy it to the wrong place if I do that because we're kind of highlighted here. So uh, let's just right click and copy and then go down here and uh, right click in the white and paste. That makes sure that we get it in the right place. Okay, and we're copying this file and it is the glazed ICS zip file and uh, that is just a, a ROM that you can download off of the uh, XDA developers forum. Once we get through, I'll show you what we're going to do with it. We're going to install it and uh, when it gets copied over, take just a minute for it to copy it over. It is uh, 150 megs, so it takes a while this USB speed. Uh, RayWaldo.com, we make technology more simple than it is in some of the other sites. We try to give step-by-step -step guides, video uh, in real time, so you can see what the times are, how long it takes to do things, so you don't get super anxious and get ahead of yourself. Okay, we have it copied over. Copied over. So now what we're going to do, and I'll give you a wider view here, we're going to go back to the device, and we're going to unmount the USB. Okay, and of course the screen goes off over here. Now we use the back button to get back to install. And we install, and there's our glazed US, uh, IS, uh, ICS. We we'll click on, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Before we do that, I, I'm going to step ahead of myself. Okay, let's back up. We want to wipe, use the wipe button, and we want to factory reset and slide to do it. Factor reset. Takes a moment. Okay, and go back. And then we want to wipe the cache. Some people say that's not necessary because you're actually doing that when you do the factor reset. But we do it anyway. And then back. And then we want to wipe the Dalvik cache. Now you do need to wipe the Dalvik even, even if you do think you're through with the other. Okay, and once we're through with that, then we use the back button and install. Click on the glazed ICS zip file, if I can get it to click. Hello. There we go. Okay. And uh, this one includes the uh, G apps, so that's all we need to do is just go for it. Okay, and it takes a moment. And 
Hyper Runner developed this. I did not re uh, did not uh, develop this ROM. All I'm doing is just showing you how to do it. And this is the first time I've done it, so uh, we're doing it together. Uh, but I've used a lot of other ROMs and and uh, installed them and zip and file uh, flashed them. So I'm pretty comfortable with how all this is done. So once this is complete, oh, and we disconnected, uh, unmounted the USB so we can disconnect this. Okay, so we're back to uh, this screen. We use the back key and uh, back key one more time. And then we're going to reboot and we will reboot the system. Now this sometimes takes a while. Whenever you install a new ROM, now notice the booting part down here. This is this is still the same uh, team win and recovery stuff that we had before. Anytime you install a new ROM, it takes a while. This is the ICS ROM. The first time you boot, it will take much longer than it does before. It's interesting. The little uh, progress bar while it's working down here. Cool. Uh, this guy, I read it online. I haven't seen this actually before. This is the first time I've installed it, but uh, this guy seems to uh, take a lot of pains in trying to make it cool, add the cool factor. So let's see what happens here. All right, it's still loading. Now, I think I read that this thing will boot just almost instantaneously, maybe 30 seconds or something like that, once you've done it and set it up and let it uh, set for a while. But every ROM, as I was saying before, it takes a while for ROMs to set in, for, for them to make the first initial boot, and uh, then sometimes they're a little slow even after you get them installed first. Okay, Apex Launcher or the Trebuck, Trebucket, I don't know. Uh, let's try the Apex. Now, I'm not going to set the one by default because I don't know which one is which and I don't know which one's better. So we'll try the Apex. It's in color, so maybe it's the better one. We'll see what it looks like. All right, there we go. Okay, we've got uh, <laughs> got ICS loaded on this thing, and uh, these are the, uh, the fine little ICS uh, buttons down here at the bottom that tell us how to do things. And... Uh, we can swipe across, and uh, of course we haven't set up or anything, so there's more to it. Uh, this is the button up here at the top that sees all your apps, and we don't have a lot of apps yet, but uh, we'll get there. So uh, that's pretty much where we are right now. We can go to the Play Store, and we can start getting stuff, but we've got to set up an account first, okay? Well, that's where we are, and uh, that's the installation of the glazed ICS onto the uh, Kindle Fire. You've seen it live and in action on channel Ray Waldo. <laughs> RayWaldo.com for more information, direct li links, and all that. See you next time. Bye.